Hello Internet, and welcome back to an Author Plays Pokemon Insurgents version 116. When we last left off, we dealt with the bullshit <laughs> that was fighting Tane with two legendaries, one of which had armor, need I remind you, one of which had armor, of all frickin' things, and a Mega Charizard. And as any seventh, seven-year-old rather will tell you, Charizard is a beast even before you Mega Evolve them. But anyways, so what I've done is I get everybody healed up, restocked on items, blah 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 blah, and now we're on Route 11, which is... I believe, the route that will take us to the next city. So let's get going, shall we? Let's see what we got out here. Hello, random person. I'm a prodigy. I graduated from the trainer school just recently, and I'm already one of the best trainers in the region. I'll be the judge of that. We'll see what happens. Picnic Sejun. Oh, cool. Cute little Korean name. And a cute little Pokemon that will destroy us. Okay, so let's move on. Let me adjust the mic a little bit. There we go. Probably should have done that before I recorded. I didn't realize I was kind of angled so weird. Yeah, the discharge is going to do nothing, buddy. Earthquake! So how are you all doing today? I'm actually surprisingly chipper. Um, I'm starting to adjust to the new sleep cycle. And... I'm starting to adjust to the new place. Like, it only took two and a half weeks, right? <laughs> but no, I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually pretty chipper. Uh, the channel's actually doing really well, too, surprisingly. I mean, we're already up to... What is it now? I think by the time I record this, we're at 11 subscribers, which is significantly more than I thought I would get when I first started, to be entirely honest. I didn't have high expectations, I just kind of wanted to put my silly little thoughts out there to the world and, and see what would happen. So, thank you guys for, for doing that. Anytime you guys share, comment, like, subscribe, get lost? No. This isn't right. Um... Am I missing something here? Hold up, let's let's check our map. That's kind of the reason why we have one of these. Route 11 to Nazca. There's, oh, there's a safari zone in Nazca. That's pretty cool. I think we should check that out. We should make that the goal. Oh, 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 I have to dive. Okay. Okay. Uh, do I still have the scuba gear equipped? Oh. Uh, not even a nibble. Okay, I don't know what that was. Choose an interaction, don't... There's no reason to use that. Come on, I know I have the scuba gear registered. I have to, right? I don't. Okay, I guess I don't have to. Interesting. Can't use that here. But it's... Is it not dark enough? How about now? Still can't use that here. Why can't I register it? Um, this? Still can't use that. I don't understand. What am I... What am I doing wrong here? I mean, it look it, that is dark enough, right? Like that is the same color from the ocean trench. Oh, I remember. Don't I have to hit enter? Yeah, I have to hit enter. That's right. Oh, I'm dumb. Oh, this is why you try to record daily rather than do bursts. Okay. So this is nice. I mean, we've done this before. We've seen this before. I don't really know. Where we need to go, I don't see any caverns like last time. So I guess we just kind of follow the sandbars down here. Looks like there's light here. There we go. I wish that was a little more obvious, the lighting. Because... I, I've missed it so many times I couldn't tell you. I've been battling for years, kid. You're way out of your league. Ugh. Edgy. Veteran Aryan? Okay. I don't think I need to be worried about his Angus, especially when I have super power. There we go. <laughs> the crit's probably what did it, let's be real. Marty's not exactly beefy. I mean, he can take a hit pretty effectively, but other than that, uh, uh Surviper. Okay. Interesting. Come on. There we go. Everything feel... Oh, God. Surviper, not superior. Dang it. Okay, that's fine. This will still work. Ah, oh, man. So, I think I've kind of come around to Mega Eevee. I know I was a little unsure when I first got him, because... I don't know, he just... He didn't feel like he was necessarily doing enough. But, God dang, having four types in one is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. 
I really enjoyed in the last episode being able to switch in on the Grump Pig. Like, what was it? We switched into the Grump Pig, tanked the Psychic Hit with Espeon. No, what was it? I can't remember exactly what we did, but we swapped into Umbreon to tank the Psychic move. And then that gave us enough time to... Not really time, but enough hit points in order to take down the Grump Pig. And also, I wasn't paying attention to him. He's probably not important anyway. Ah, uh, pardon. But, yeah, against the Grump Pig! <laughs> we were able to tank the hit. And it was just... It, it was the kind of strategy that... I feel like I want it out of this game, and that maybe I haven't been doing either because the game is grindy or because I'm just stupid sometimes. Not saying either one of those is the more likely of the two, but if I had to, I'd say it's because I'm dumb. Just putting that out there. <laughs> uh, Venomoth, that's what, Bug and Poison? Um, yeah, we'll send in Cleaver. My nose has bugged me. Blah, blah, blah. My nose has been bugging me today. Easy for me to say. And that's not a that's not a timely pun. All oh, right, I'm fighting type. I was like, why is that super effective? Um, why do I keep thinking ice is super effective against bug? I have a problem. That problem is a case of the stupid. But yeah, my nose has been bugging me today. I don't know if there's just more dust in the air or whatever. There shouldn't be. The apartment gets a thorough scrubbing every week. And it's fall. Fall's not exactly a time known for its pollen discharge. So I don't know. I don't get it. Ugh, I'm not going to try and rationalize it. I'm just going to put that out there. And let you guys make of that what you will. Not that you need my permission to do that, obviously. One of the beautiful, beauty, one of the beautiful things <laughs> of the internet uh, is that it's a very free place. You can do whatever the hell you want. After all, on the internet, nobody knows that you're a dog. Anyways, so I'm kind of waiting, and I don't think it'll happen because then it would kind of lose its touch. But I'm almost kind of waiting. For when we get to the point where, like, random schmuck trainers like this have megas. I don't know, I just, I, I kind of feel like that's the kind of dickery this game would do. Maybe I'm just jaded after, what, 32 episodes at this point? But I'm just saying, it, I wouldn't hold it against, or I, I would hold it against the game. I wouldn't put it past the game to do that. I would very much hold it against it. Even though I called it, I'd still be upset about it. Okay, Nazca Town. What's going on over here? I'm not quite sure. Whoa. Uh, I don't know what that flash was. This place is very peaceful, though. I like the this, this agriculture feel. Like It feels like a small little farming town. That's so cool. Did somebody mention that? I think somebody mentioned that in Kepler, didn't they? Where it was like Nazca grew the food for Kepler and Kepler gave them tech for their for their farms or whatever. I think somebody mentioned that. That sounds familiar, at least. I believe it. That's my headcanon now. Nazca Town is known throughout the Torn region for its fabulous safari zone. We're not talking about no friend safari rubbish, either. Oh, look at what the, this Talo go by. This is the real deal. I actually kind of like the, the friend safari. Um, I remember when I first got X and Y. Uh, not too long after I beat it, I decided that I wanted to... Oh, sure. I would love some Moomoo Milk. Let's buy, like, 20 of them. There you go. Anyways, um, what I did was not too long after I beat the game, I decided, oh, yeah, I'll give, I'll, I'll take a swing at um, at competitive battling. Why not, right? Like I've never done that before. I kind of wanted to with Gen Five, but I showed up like right, like I got back into Pokemon right when um, Black and White Two had been out for like four or five months. I was just like, eh, I don't really want to get the game just for the meta to immediately change. So, let's not. And I just waited for X and Y. Did. Loved the game. Fantastic game. This flashing is really starting to disconcert me. But, uh, because I didn't have a whole lot of people near me, which is weird because I went to a college, uh, that played Pokemon X or Y, I had, I went on to Reddit, and they had a friend safari Reddit there. What did, what did you want? Do me a favor, I lost an item of mine in the desert of the safari zone near one of the rocks. Okay. Can definitely do that. Oh, I wonder, do you guys have 
No, you guys probably don't have the Mega Stones all you do. That'd be too easy. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, I went on to Reddit and there was like a subreddit for friend safari people. Okay, this... Oh, hi. Are you alright? Don't panic, I'm only here to talk. You've become something of a legend back in the cult of Darkrai. Persephone's placed a huge bounty on your head, and now everyone's trying to find you. I'm not interested in all that. Remember when you escaped the base, and when Darkrai was summoned? I was the cultist that withstood within the circle. Turns out Darkrai doesn't want ritual sacrifices and evil done in its name. Who would have thought, right? The Pokemon of darkness and evil and nightmares doesn't want evil and nightmares to happen. Most legends don't. In fact, legendaries rather, don't. In fact, I'd be surprised if Rayquaza rescued East somehow. Persephone and Darkrai's goals are completely different. She doesn't want world domination or control, she just wants revenge. And you need to stop her from getting it. Since I'm kind of the big bad evil guy according to these cultists, I kind of feel like no matter what, I have to fight these cultists. It's just something that's going to happen. Soon she'll find a way to control it. If you let her, another legendary will be enslaved. And not only that, but you and that green-haired girl will have your own reason for saving it. It may have the secret to curing Audrey's son. I apologize for taking your time. Believe it or not, you and Darkrai might share a common goal. Have a nice day. Okay. So first off, don't judge a book by its cover. That's what I'm getting. Oh, look at the Talo. I love that every time it happens. Um... Don't judge a book by its character. Apparently, Doc Rye's a lover, not a fighter. Uh... <laughs> Anyways. Um... The other thing that I wanted to say before my brain blanked was... <sighs> don't you hate it when a thought flies out of your head like that? Ah, oh, man. I... I don't remember what I wanted to say now. Maybe it'll come back to me if I keep rambling. You should definitely check out or use our farms. I can... I can use the farms? Yes, I am a trainer. Do you think I could be a trainer? You can, any, anybody can be a trainer. Look at me. I'm some schmuck on the internet, and I'm a trainer. I've got 55s or 58s and 60s. Uh, my daughter is super outgoing, and I couldn't have asked for a better kid. But she has so little confidence in herself. She wants to be a trainer, but doesn't even believe she can. Aw, that's sad. I mean... Like, that's kind of what inspires, or I guess that's kind of the whole point of these, is like, yeah, anybody can do it. Any 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 level you want to compete at. I have to hear rumbling noises coming from the Safari Zone. I wouldn't be surprised if a legendary Pokemon is in there. There's no other possible explanation. It could just be huge. I mean, you could find dragons in the old Pokemon and Friends of Ares. I'm a Pokemon researcher specializing in moves and types. Specifically, I've been studying the elemental hyperbeam techniques. Ugh, excuse me. I'm actually not in a huge need of one of those, but thank you very much. I actually don't know... Like, I know Hyper Beam wasn't great because it's a normal move, but I wonder what the competitive, uh, I don't know, quality of those moves would be in this case. Someone as cool as the Augur will ever come to a small town like ours. I'd think we're important to the region, and he'd recognize that. I'd be honored. I've always wanted to see something famous. Interesting. I lost a Pokemon battle to my friend because of some Taros crap luck. <laughs> I missed a focus blast when it counted. I've I've lost the. Jeez. Maybe it's not the focus blast that was the issue here. Just gonna throw that out there. Can I do anything with these? I don't think I can. Found a dust ball. So that's pretty cool. Did I go in this house? Did I talk to you? I used to scour routes when I looked for Pokemon. I don't really do that anymore. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Very kind of you, stranger. Oh, and I got Super Repels. Wow, thank you. I kind of regret buying them now. Did I talk to you? Really much to do here if you're not into farmland. If you want to do something interesting, I'd recommend checking out Kepler or Amphorite City. Uh, well, that seems to be the opposite of what everybody else has told me, because the Safari Zone is here. Helios Town was built over a military bunker back during the kanto torn War. The base was eventually reconfigured and became the Black Market. Interesting. So why is it connected with a bunch of pipes? Is it just decrepit? Hey, talk to me. There we go. Torn region is much more beautiful than my homeland, though in fairness, Vesrin isn't really in a good state right now. Vesrin? I don't think I know that. Safari Zone? Safari Zone! Sure, let's do that. We only use a special kind of Pokeball here. Okay. Can throw rocks at Pokemon to lower their health. Okay. 
So, I guess I need to get to the desert section. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you point me towards the desert section? Not the dessert section, as much as I would love something tasty right now. It's before lunchtime and I'm hungry. There, like, there is a desert... Like, somebody told me there was a desert... Oh! No, not quite there. Oh, pfft. Come on. I'm wasting all these steps. Okay, let's see if we... If we go around, I should be able to get up there? Question mark? Upturn in voice? Um... Like, you guys don't want to fight, right? If you look carefully around here, you can fight a Pokemon, you can't find... Bup, 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 bup. You need to have friends. Uh, or the internet. Okay, I guess we'll see what's here. An Audino. Okay. I don't really need an Audino, but thank you for the offer. I appreciate it. Um, What if we go back the other way? Come on. There's, like, there's got to be a desert section. Somebody specifically said that there was a desert section around here. And I want that reward. Safari zone. Here we go. Desert section by one of the rocks. So am I going to have to... Am I going to have to spam enter? Nope. Oh, okay. Hi there, buddy. Can I bait you? Oh. Okay. No baits taken. But we can find another guy. Let's see. Marowak. I uh, don't really need a ground type. So I'm not really sure. Do I have to spam enter a bunch? Oh! Oh, okay, I did. And I found an old photo. Cool. So I guess I should go get that back to the guy and see what I get. Once we finish up here. Diggersby, though. Excuse you. Goodness. Okay, well, I don't really have a need for any ground types, so I guess we'll just kind of poke around in the grass and see what we find. Is, am I, I... Why am I doubling? Are you guys able to see that? That's weird. There's a graphical glitch here. <laughs> Found a bug. Found a bug. Weavile. Not super interested in a Weavile, either. I'm not really sure what I want. Ding dong, Safari game is over. That's unfortunate. I didn't really catch anything, but... Um, okay. I need to find where that guy with who lost the photo was. Was it you? Hey, there we go. Yeah, there you go. Thank you so much. You don't know how much this means to me. Any one of the Pokemon in my house. Oh. Um. This is sudden. I don't know. I don't know. Who do I take? Eh, I think we'll go with Charmander. Sure. Yes, and let's call him... Charlie, because I can. Nice, okay. Well, I'm kind of glad we went there then. So now the question is, should I go back into the Safari Zone? Because the Safari Zone before is where you can find all sorts of silliness. Like pseudo legendaries and whatnot. And I would kind of like to have one. Because I remember that there's a trade back in one of the cities. Yeah, it's a heat more. Um where somebody wanted a pseudo legendary, or one of its pre evolutions, for a Delta. And I want to see that Delta. Livani. Ooh. I kinda wanna catch this Livani. Because I believe a Livani... Oh, come on. Don't run away, please. Dang it. Livani is one of the Pokemon you can get armor for, and I think that would be interesting to use as our grass type instead of Superior. Superior served us well, don't get me wrong. But, ugh. Hi. You can go away. Thank you. Okay. So let's see... No, I don't... I don't want a heat more. Go away. Don't want any. Thank you. Okay, come on. Give me a Livani. Just give me a Livani. Okay. We'll be right back. Hopefully when I've got a Livani. Okay, there we go, finally. It's like 15 turns of me just throwing bait and rocks at this stupid thing. Oh boy. Yes. You're going to be... Lester. 
I know it's a gross name, but I'm running out of ideas here. I've caught a lot of Pokemon. <laughs> okay, so let's go over to... Let's see what's down here in this section. What do you have to say? Oh, okay. That's cool. <laughs> Whoa. Hi. Goodbye. What else is in here? What else is in this particular patch of grass? I want to see what else is in the water as well. Okay. Heat more. That's cool. Alright, let's go to the water. I'm very curious to see what's in the water. Assuming I can find the water again. And that I have enough steps. Safari zone. There we go. There. There is nothing over here. Okay. Let's just surf around and see what we find. Maybe we'll find something cool. A wall of water is crashing down with a mighty roar. No? Can't find anything while surfing? Okay, what about fishing? Pokemon is on the hook. Surprise! Who would have thought? It's a level 52 Magikarp. You're free to go. What about over here? Did you see that little shimmy? <laughs> oh, let's see what we got. Maybe it's because I have a garbage fishing rod. Quillfish? Meh. Yeah, it's probably because I've got a garbage fishing rod. What do you have to say? Back then, tunnels were dug underground that you could get to in many different places. There used to be one near here that took you to a far-off land. I'd love to explore it. Interesting. That must be up there with the waterfall. Very cool. Okay. I wonder if there's like a cave section here in the safari zone, or... I don't know. What do you have to say? Are you going to challenge Deanna and Celine? I am planning on it. If you are, look for a dark type around here. With her team's typing, that'll definitely help you out. So, psychic and ghost, I'm guessing? What do you have to say? Oh, right. This is... This is this is forever alone, guy. Come on. Yes, I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry for, for bothering you. How many more steps do I have left? 63. What's this way? Absolutely nothing. Okay, well we got our Levani, so that's cool. I guess we'll see if there's anything else we want to catch. Giraffe egg? Good to know that that's here, but I can always go to another route and catch one of those. At least I remember. I remember being over there. Maybe I'm wrong. Ding dong. Safari game is over. That's fine. Okay, well, we got ourselves a Levani. And I guess that's it. So, uh, I guess what I'll do in the interim is I'm going to uh, swap out our superior for Levani. And get this item. There we go. So, I'm going to swap out superior for Levani and go out back and buy that armor for her. And then when we come back, there's a cave that I saw that looks like it kind of does this right angle into another route. So, I'm going to... Go in that cave, explore a little bit, see what we can find, and we'll go from there. So, if you guys enjoyed yourselves, then go ahead and leave this video a like. Uh, pen me a comment down in the comments below. All that jazz, and I hope to see you guys in the next chapter. Bye-bye.